guys so you can obviously tell that today is going to be awkward horse story times um i don't think i have a lot of them i spent a while thinking about this because i just i don't know i don't have a ton of like embarrassing things that happen to me but i have a few of them so i'm gonna share with those with you today i'm looking at my phone if i'm like not looking at you guys and um if you guys have any super embarrassing things that maybe happened to you, feel free to make a video like this or share in the comments below because sometimes things don't go as you plan. <laughs> All right, so my first one, um, obviously you guys know I'm female, so my body does female things. So um, it was that time of the month and um, yeah, I was, I was young. I was in like middle school okay so I hadn't had my period very many times and I just thought pads were like super like super I don't even know like magical things that could just hold as much blood as I needed so um I bled through my pad onto my pants onto my saddle and there were like blood stains on the saddle and yeah me and my friend amber actually spent like an hour like the next day trying to like scrub the blood stains off but it did not work at all and i actually ended up selling that saddle and the, i just like told the person that it would just like looked like wear on the saddle seat because it obviously this is gonna sound gross but it was like old so it turned like black and so it just looked like i had worn off the saddle but it was not that um, there was also this one time that um, I don't know me and my friend were riding and I was riding sugar bareback and I farted on her and she spooked and that was kind of awkward and kind of embarrassing because she made it like totally obvious <laughs> I went through a phase in middle school where literally every pair of jeans I had for some reason either like got ruined or started to rip or whatever because I don't really throw away jeans until like I can't wear them anymore so I had one pair of jeans and that was my miss me jeans and I never really rode in those because I don't know they were just too nice I just didn't like to get them super dirty and stuff and I had this other nice pair of jeans that I wore all the time and for some reason I don't know those that pair of jeans like split up the butt crack right there so I thought it would be a good idea to just like take some thread and sew it back together so I sewed back together my pants and me and one of my my friend Maria that I've talked about here before we went on a trail ride right and she hold my horses and we went on like this big group trail ride and lo and behold right before the ride my pants the thread on my pants just came undone and so I had this big like rip on my asshole in the back of my pants and Maria brought her like teenage son for I don't even know why he was there but that was really really awkward and I tried to make it like as least noticeable when I got on I took soccer like over by the trees and stuff and got on because during the ride you obviously couldn't tell so like when I got off I tried to just like discreetly not show my ass to everybody and it was really embarrassing I had on like bright colorful underwear that day and it really sucked so don't try and sew your jeans back together if they rip up the ass because that's probably not gonna work and then there was another time where I was working at the ranch that I used to work at and I don't even know how it happened I like bent over or something and literally got this rip all you can't even see okay all like right under my butt cheek like this whole section just like ripped all the way across from like inside of my leg all the way around to the outside of my leg so my ass cheek was like hanging out all day and so I asked one of the girls other girls that worked there if she could like run me into town quick to get me some different pants and she was like it's not that noticeable just don't bend over and I was like uh, okay so like I don't know the whole day like while the public was there and everything my ass cheeks just like hanging out of my pants 
whatever. Um, there was this one time I was trimming Sugar's hooves and like I was trimming her back hoof and she just decided to take a shit right on me and I had to like jump out of the way um, without any warning or anything so that was nice. And then, okay, so the road I live down, like my dad lives down where my horses are, it's, it's in the country but it's pretty residential. Like there's like this little country neighborhood of houses there. So when I ride up and down the road, first of all, one of the houses down there is a daycare. And then, I don't know, there's other kids that live there. But when I when we ride up and down the road, I try at all costs to just avoid people because it's, I don't know, I'm not a people person, like, with strangers and stuff. So I, don't, I try to just, like, not, I don't know, I try to avoid them, basically. Um, and there was this one time me and my friend, I think it was Amber, were... I don't know why that matters, but we were riding down the road and this old woman like comes out of her house and she's yelling, girls, girls. And I was just like, let's just keep going. Just keep going, ignore them. So she starts screaming it louder, like girls. And I was like, okay. She's like, my daughter would like to pet your horse or her granddaughter or something. And I was just like, okay. Like, um, could you be any more like rude? Um, maybe I didn't want your daughter to pet my horse. Clearly I was trying to ignore you so you don't have to like scream at me. It was just really annoying and really kind of awkward because I think she kind of knew we were trying to ignore her. But her, her grandkid or whatever was literally like this big. Like a toddler. Would not even remember petting horses but... That was awkward and then there's there's always times kids are like trying to come up and pet the horses and I just ignore them or whatever because yeah just cuz <laughs> so well guys those are some awkward horse story times for you mine are I mean they're not that funny but if you got any funny ones let me know because I don't know I'm kind of a boring person so I, not a lot goes on in my life but if you got some funny ones, I would love to hear them. Leave them in the comments. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.